Hey guys, you'll see um, we had some water issues under our rubber carpets in our walk-in. So we're gonna close for a couple days and get this all cleaned up. Um, I'm going to use some stripper first. Sorry, Home Depot put <clears throat> the tag, my name tag over it because I ordered online. So uh, this is 15 minute stripper. Uh, after that, we're gonna clean up with some mineral spirits. Just a heads up, this is a, I wanted to get a first coat on in a day, but typically once you strip that and then clean with the mineral spirits, you're supposed to give it a day to dry up. I'm gonna bring in a floor dryer and uh, just kind of try to dry it that way because I wanna get three or four coats on this before um, we reopen. So uh, we're gonna get it nice and cleaned up. Something else guys, I'm gonna put a piece of uh, diamond plating over this. You can see this is where everybody kicks the, kicks the door. So I'll get that cleaned up too. Throw a piece of diamond plating over it. This is just from Home Depot, 36 by 36. All right guys, real quick, you should probably wear face masks for this. I have two options, either a dirty one or a full face. So we're just gonna get some fans in here and we'll clean it up. So guys, it's 36 by 36. So I'm literally just gonna cut this one side of it. It's called for two feet here, 24 inches. And then I'll just let it go all the whole 36 up. This is for metal grinding, grinding down metal. See how thick it is. This is for metal cutting, kind of thinner blade. Left my work glasses at the other job, so. So I just quickly uh, cut myself a little channel here and then I'll go through and make the final cut. Guys, you'll see that I left a little tack there in the middle. That's so when I went all the way across, it wouldn't just fall down. It left me that little tack that held onto it so I could make my final cut down here. Always have a battery on the charger. Always. Ready, Anton? <laughs> For those of you who don't do it, I mark these because they're all they all look the same. So just a little pointer, you guys can thank me later if you don't already do this. It saves you a lot of time. Take a minute too guys and just clean your edges up. See how bad this is over here? You don't want people catching on that. Got Anton over here cleaning the shelves. Something to note here, guys, you really want to put this on liberally. I'm seeing here that it's not coming up fast enough. There's a couple spots that are bubbling, but we got to get this on a little thicker. So guys, um, this is about four ounces per gallon. So I'm gonna do about half of this in this bucket of hot water. Try to add some ventilation here, guys. Uh, I have the door open behind us, which helps circulate this through. Um, you might wanna also do small areas at a time because having a lot of this down is uh, a little bit of a fire risk, but we're all shut down, so.
for you to know. You can see how thin it is. No, there's nothing wrong with your paint. No, your paint's not old. All your stuff is at the bottom, so you gotta mix this for a good couple minutes, just so you know. You'll feel how thick it is at the bottom. It's every can. Um, I saw a couple of reviews online. Obviously, I wanted to look up before I bought this stuff how good it was, and people thought that the paint was bad. It's normal. Just make sure you stir it up and up, guys, to where the point where there's no more of that thick cookie stuff at the bottom. You really want to make sure these chemicals are being mixed together well to make sure it works. So guys, I'm just taking the time to squeeze a bunch of this into the corners and all the crevices around to make sure that everything gets permeated by this stuff. I want it to be completely sealed. It's got like a tin foil color almost. All right, guys, day two. So after a coat of primer, some people are gonna call me crazy, but I actually um, put on a light coat on purpose, and I guess maybe it's a little wasteful, but it's kind of nice because it bubbles up, so I scraped second. So the places that I knew needed contact or scraping um, bubbled in the paint. But then what's nice is when you scrape off, this new paint will actually stick to the old paint, so everything will come up together, which is, gives you this. So. Um, we went through and scraped it all and gave it another vacuum, and now we're going to do our second coat. Make sure you're giving it another stir, get those chemicals together, guys. See, there's no chunkiness, which is what you want. I just wrap my roller in cellophane just because I'm going to use it for the next four or five days. Uh, depending on how much paint I have, I'm just going to keep coating it until I'm out so get as many coats on the thing as possible but save yourself a roller Alright guys, I'm just going to put some uh, sealant around the edges here, just protect, it, protect any moisture from coming in. We're just going to use some self tappers guys. I'm gonna put my cut edge, even though I ground it down, I'm gonna put my cut edge to the inside so that nobody catches on it. Guys, just also because it is a cooler, you'll see that there's Seal it coming out of my holes down here. And that's because what I want it to do is I want when the screw go to, to go through to catch some of that sealant and go into the hole, um, just because it is a cooler. I don't want any moisture getting in the hole of the screw. And this is just because when they have stuff in their hands and they're walking out of the cooler, they just always tend to just give this door a kick, which is why condition it's in. Just making sure that sealant sticks up out of here so that we don't get any moisture down in here. All right guys, um, this is after four coats. You can see it's pretty well sealed up in here. I will say though, after doing this, it's pretty nice. So we'll see how well this holds up. But I think the next fix is gonna be a whole new floor, which in case I'll get uh, stainless steel pieces but you can see it's it's filled in pretty well. So it looks pretty sturdy, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna put one final coat on just because I have a little bit left, but that's pretty much it.